So let's do some Gaussian elimination on our Casio calculator. Uh, so we just go into the run matrix section here. Then we press F3, which gives us this thing here. Now just we execute on one of the matrices here, and then we say we want a four by sorry, a three by four. And it looks like that. Now we just enter in all of our numbers, something that looks like that. Now after that, we just click row op for row operations. And you can see we have a bunch of row operations here. Now I'll run you through the first couple because they're really easy. Uh, the swap one, this just says you're gonna swap one row with another row. So if I wanna swap row one and three, I just click one here and three here. And then you can see they've swapped. We started off with it looking like that, and I've swapped one and three over. That's pretty useful. And I can just swap them back by doing the same thing a second time. And now we're back to where we started. Now the next one's also really easy. That's just multiplying a row by a scalar. So um, if I wanna take, uh, let's say the number seven, and multiply row one by seven, I just do this. Okay, so that's gonna take row one and multiply it by the number seven. And you can see 7, 7, 14, 1, 1, 2. And you can see that's what I've done here. Now, if I want to undo that, I'll just go back here. I'll do uh, 1 over 7 and to um, row 1. And you can see that takes me back to where I started because multiplying by 1 seventh is the same as uh, dividing by. Now, the really interesting row operations are these ones here. And they're probably the most useful, but they can be a little bit confused how these ones work i'm going to do exactly what our actual question wants us to do so um we're going to click this button here because that's going to allow us to add a multiple of a row to another row all right so uh you can see we want to multiply row one by negative two all right if you want to subtract a row from another you're going to have to do negative two so negative two and Row 1 is what we're multiplying it by. And we're adding that to row 2. All right, so a little bit confusing there, but we're adding negative 2 times 1 to 2. And we'll get exactly what's there. Now, our next step here is to uh, add negative 3 times row 1 to row three. So again, we're using the same row operation here. So we're multiplying it by negative three and it's row one that we're multiplying by negative three. And then we're adding negative three row one to row three. And we have this zero three, negative 11, negative 27. All right. And now uh, we can do these ones. We have to do them one at a time. Now this says, uh, row dash two equals three times row two. So we don't have to use that button. We just use uh, this button here. Um, so we want to multiply row two by three. And in the same step, we also wanted to multiply row three by two. So two times row three. All right, and we should have something that looks a little bit like that. And then our last step is just to subtract row two from row three. And we could press this one here, but we've got a small issue. Um, the issue is that we don't want to add rows to each other. We want to subtract a row from each other. And we don't have a button here for that, but we can use our little uh, multiple one to do it. So again, we're multiplying row two by negative one and it's row two that we're multiplying by negative one, and we're adding it to row three. And there, we're at our final step, one, one, two, nine, six, negative 21, negative 51, negative one, negative three. And from there, we can work through that to figure out what uh, X, Y, and Z are. All right, so I don't think it's super intuitive, but I do think with a little bit of practice, you can get quite quick at doing this and you'll make sure that you don't make simple mistakes when it comes to this stuff. But you really do want to be checking it as you're doing it, making sure that it's making sense as you're doing it. It's a good idea to write it on paper as you go so you're picking up silly mistakes if you accidentally add a row to a row instead of subtracting a row from a row, etc. Et that.
is how you use your uh, calculator to do Gaussian elimination.